Mice in the house are a real problem. These rodents can climb ladders, climb walls, climb cables and swim through pipes, yes yes they can pop up through your toilet. With the sole purpose of entering your home. So how do you get rid of mice? The mice adapt very quickly and are inheritables when finding food, warmth or shelter. Your home can meet each of the primary needs. Be aware that in autumn and winter, their quest intensifies due to weather conditions. Rodents, amazing animals the mice are opportunistic and determined. They will seize the smallest opportunity to break into your home. This is why you must develop a keen eye, although this is temporary, to identify your property's flaws, fill all the holes, seal all the gaps and repair any damage identified. Know that mice and rats have unique abilities, making them the kings of infiltration. House mice can climb 2 meter high walls, mice can squeeze into spaces as wide as a pen is 6 millimeters, mice can jump up to 24 centimeters high, rats can, on the other hand, jump 77 centimeters vertically and 1 meter 20 horizontally. Repair your roof The black rat is often referred to as the roof rat thanks to its incredible agility, allowing it to make its way through cables and climbing plants. Have you ever wondered how rodents get to your kitchen cupboards? So turn your fridge over. Where you and I see only a simple household appliance, the mice detect a sumptuous climbing wall opening in the way to all the elements at height. And here are other possible entry points. Hollows in cellars and basements, unplugged holes around the pipes, damaged floors and roofs, ventilation, drains and sewers because yes, rats are good swimmers. How do you prevent mice from entering the house? As the owner, it is in your financial best interest and health and safety to prevent rats and mice's outbreak. Indeed, rats and mice have the ability to reproduce very quickly, transforming a small inconvenience into a large-scale infestation. Rodents are carriers of many diseases, dangerous for humans, and can be the source of a fire because of their annoying tendency to nibble everything that passes under their noses. So prevention will be more desirable than treatment. There are simple and inexpensive steps that can be taken to reduce the risk of infestation. Professional solutions are also available. How to prevent mouse invasions. Food storage. Use plastic or metal containers and regularly clean under your refrigerator, your cupboards, and your gas stove, doors. Install a brush seal at the bottom of your doors to prevent any intrusion. Pipes. Seal all the holes around the pipes with steel wool. Holes. Often located outside and near cables or pipes, remember to check old installations. Any 5mm hole can be enough for mice to get into your home. Ventilation. Do not hesitate to cover it with a thin galvanized wire mesh, which is more if it is damaged, roof and eaves, repair any damage identified and place a fine mesh over the holes. To learn more, see our anti-mouse tips and tricks page. Mice are opportunistic and determined. They will seize the slightest opportunity to interfere in your home. What do mice do when they are in your house? The mouse needs three things to survive, food, warmth, and shelter your home can meet all of their expectations. Safe in a mouse nest once inside, the mice's first objective will be to find a corner isolated from the cold and close to a food source to build a nest. Your kitchen or your dining room are their prime targets. This is why you will often find mice behind kitchen units or the refrigerator, which rejects hot air. Did you know? The mouse nests are often developed based on a paper that mice recover in your home. Mice in the walls note that mice can easily take up residence in cavities in a wall, in your full ceilings, in your basement, near the hot water tank, or in your attic. The mice in the walls can be identified through the noise they make by scraping and moving at night. What do mice eat? Mice eat cheese, but also chocolate and even peanut butter. It was also they also have a preference for certain flavors of crisps. When it comes to hydration, mice get water from the food they eat. However, the rats cannot do without direct access to water and promote potatoes and bread. This is why they are generally found near a river, a lake, a fishing pond, or a stream. This also justifies the fact that mouse problems are more common than rat problems. Did you know? Mice can feed in multiple places overnight, while rats may prefer to pick food from only two or three areas as a precaution. Rodents, nocturnal animals Since mice are nocturnal animals, it is rare to see them during the day unless you have a serious mouse problem. Believe it or not, a mouse infestation can be easily identified, if you are looking for them correctly at any time of the day. How do mice move? Out of survival instinct, mice always move cautiously along the walls. In the wild, this protects them from predators. 
In your home, they will thus usually run alongside your baseboards and kitchen cupboards. It is therefore unlikely that a mouse will cross a room. Did you know? Regardless of their activity, mice always look above them to watch for the possible arrival of predators. If an invasion of mice is not taken in hand, you will quickly see appear on their favorite route, a thin layer of dirt. This is due to their repeated passage and the sebum released by their coat. Body functions of mice Another compelling clue to the existence of a mouse nest in the presence of mouse urine and mouse droppings. Indeed, to mark their territory, mice go out of their way to urinate. They also use this system to guide other nest residents to an identified source of food. In the wild, a mouse can live 12 to 18 months and reproduce endlessly. Now you understand why, without concrete actions, your house can quickly be invaded by a horde of moustaches. Mouse, what to do? As is often the case in many situations, prevention remains your best ally. For more anti-mouse tips and advice, it's here.